Dana DiPiazza is joining us live from the Sip and Santa pop-up this morning to bring us all of the details. That is exactly right, Mary. You know, you don't typically see me drinking out of a little coconut this early in the morning or in a Christmas sweater, but this morning we are at Planter's House Cocktail Bar, which you might be familiar with, but you might not have seen it like this. You can see so many beautiful decorations all around me here. This bar is gorgeous and decked out for Santa's dream vacation. So I have a very special person to introduce you to this morning, Mr. Ted here. He is the owner, one of the few owners here at Planner's House, thank you so much for taking the time and joining he me here this morning. Absolutely. You drinking already or no? Uh, only a little bit. <laughs> Just a little bit. So there's water in my coconut right now, but what's typically served in this glass? That is the Kris Kringle Colada, which has dark Jamaican rum, uh, Amaro, which is a, bit, a bitter uh, aperitif, but not too bitter, allspice liqueur, and coconut cream and pineapple. Sounds fancy. I love pineapple. So here is that menu right here for you guys. So you can see a ton of different options on the cocktail list and in very fancy glasses, right? Absolutely. One of the key things about uh, Sip and Santa is it is a, a, t a holiday tiki bar. And what tiki means is a, a lot of uh, blended rums usually, as well as uh, tropical juices and fancy glassware. And all these glasses are actually uh, available for retail as well. Fancy indeed. So you can buy these little guys. Look how cute this Santa is with his little hands on his chin. So Hannah, Santa comes here to go on vacation. That's correct. Why might someone right here in St. Louis want to come by this season? Oh, if you uh, want to get in the holiday spirit and, and have a, a little uh, cocktail, or, as well as food, we offer both. They're inspired by a tropical tiki. Uh, flavors. Uh, that's what we're, we're doing uh, this season until uh, New Year's Eve actually. Uh, we're uh, offering the, the, the tiki menu as well as a small amount of local food and, and cocktails. That's right. So if you have been tuning in every day, which I hope you have been, I was just with Jamie at the other bar that you guys own. Tell me the connection there. Uh, Miracle and Sip and are offered by the same company. Uh, we've been doing Miracle seven years and four years for Sip and Santa. Uh, they, the company actually offers all the glassware that is uh, unique specifically to the, the, uh, our locations. So you can only uh, get them uh, from, from us. That's right. So they already have a lot of their reservations booked, but it's not too late. You can go online and still get your reservation. They're only doing a $5 reservation per person, which is an awesome deal compared to some of the other ones we've seen in the area. It can get kind of expensive, especially when you're buying the drinks and the food on top of that. So you can also come wander in and try to grab a seat, first come, first serve. They're opening at 4 o'clock every correct. day except for Mondays. And then they're closing at 11 on weekends and 10. That's right correct. Now, right? That's so correct. You have to try to come snag your seat. And when's the best time to come? Uh, earlier or a little later. Okay. So not like that prime time. Right. The volume is usually pretty packed. You could get lucky. We do have some uh, no-shows and cancellations. That's right. Okay, well, thank you again, Ted, for joining us this morning. Do you have a drink recommendation for our viewers? The Yuletide is my favorite. It comes in the a Myrrh Santa uh, mug, which is actually our hottest uh, seller uh, besides the Serpent Santa. It has uh, apple and tequila and cranberry and lime. Uh, very delicious. So it's not just cute on the outside. It actually tastes good. Absolutely. That's the best. And again, this also separates you guys from a lot of other pop-ups that we've seen. They serve food, which is awesome. Any recommendations oh. on the menu? Uh, the Spam sliders are probably the most popular at the okay. Waikiki meatballs. Waikiki meatballs. Sounds good to me, Mary. I that don't know about you. Sounds but I fantastic. Think that, uh, this little Santa's calling your name. <laughs> it really is. Dana, I keep saying I don't feel like I'm in the holiday spirit yet, but it looks like just one step into this bar and you are transported to the North Pole, but obviously a little bit warmer conditions. <laughs> That's exactly right. Santa's vacation, the perfect vacation for Santa and place for you to come get in the spirit, Mary. It's calling your name right now. Fantastic. Well, I'm adding it to the holiday bucket list. Thanks for sharing and cheers.